All right, how are we doing, guys? Are we all right? Let's sit over and wait for a few guys to get on, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, open our box. You can probably tell it's just me tonight. The uh, the rest of them. One's uh, one's in the living room watching a little bit of telly. Uh, the other one's upstairs playing his Xbox. Um, while the other two, the Queen and Ali, are at, uh, at their house. So we. Uh, how you doing, Scott? Hello, Jack. Hello, uh, Cordelian Harris. Hello, Cindy. All right. Nice to see all you guys on. So, uh, I think we're the last ones from the uh, fishing competition to go on. So we had a great, we had a great day on the weekend. It was absolutely brilliant. We enjoyed meeting everyone. We enjoyed the competition. We enjoyed going back to uh, Mrs. Fingers for a bit of food. How are we doing, MFA? You all right, mate? and yeah it was great looking forward to doing it again next year so it's uh it was a great turnout scott it was uh, all for in memory of kev and we really enjoyed it we really really enjoyed it so um but uh the reason was tonight is that we ordered a little something a few weeks ago and it turned up today so uh, i thought why not share it with all you guys on uh on youtube so uh do you want to see us open it or not? We've had a quick peek ourselves, just to make sure that it was uh, what we uh, we thought it was going to be. Hello, Gary. How are you, mate? You all right? Good to see you on. I'm in full volume, but you sound too soft. That's probably because I'm in the cons I'm in uh, I'm out in the conservatory because the wife is watching a bit of telly. So uh, I'll try and uh, I'll try and speak up. I don't really want to shout down the uh, shout down the uh, thingy at you. So uh, right, I'll have a quick. Uh, Quick sip of my beer. So, as you can probably tell, that's it there. Still, I'll bet. Yeah, I bet you are still nervous about to Gary, tomorrow, Gary. But I, I'm sure it'll go all right. We uh, we have a very close close friend who had it done a few years ago, and uh, he's he's great now. He's he, he made a great recovery. So, hi from hi Eve. You're right. Yeah. Well, yeah, good luck for tomorrow. I'm sure everything will be fine, Gary. So, uh, what's that say? I'm looking for a CC. Right. Right, now, so this is it. This has come from NYC. So it's come from New York City. I thought, just to be good, we're going to open it with one of our finds. We got out the, uh, that we found magnet fishing. So, uh, right. Here we go. I'm going to uh, get a knife in. It's like Christmas, Gary, but it's April. But then it was as cold today as it was in April, so, as it was in uh, as it was in uh, January. So, all right, there we go. That's not bad. We found that about. I think it was last year. Yeah, well, it was a fancy letter. Like, that's what we reckon it was a fancy letter, letter opener. Cleaned up quite nice actually. We've kept that one. So, uh, one of our nice little finds. So, I'm gonna look the label sticking out here. So, right. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but you can probably just get a little peek of what is in there. So, let's uh, take these bits out. Let's get this little one out here. Out. So, excuse me if I miss your comments while I'm doing this. So, I don't know if anyone in the UK uh, has had one of these yet. So, that's the first bit we got with it. We've got a set of gloves. Does anyone uh, anyone know what it is? So, size large, they'll fit me perfect. Second one is. Let me open it up. Could be close there, Jack, and in the middle. In the middle, we've got that bit there. 
watching from the Philippines. Brilliant, nice. Right, now for the Pierre Le Resistance. There we go, that's what we've got. That's what we've ordered. So all you double-sided fans out there, that's the, yeah, that's the one Andy. So we ordered it about two weeks ago and uh, it came today, so we went and picked it up. So from what I've, uh, there we go, it's from the Mag Pros. We got it from Mag Pros. So as you probably all know, um, before Christmas we lost one of ours when we tried to go and get it back and we failed miserably. So, you know, it went to Magnet Heaven. You have to, Paul, you have to review this as that's a Mag Pro. I am, mate, because I've actually got a day off work tomorrow and uh, it's me and the boy, me and the boy Wonder Ben. So I'm thinking about going out and having a cheeky little go with it tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do also a proper, I'm going to do a proper video on it. I was going to do it while I was doing this live. But the only problem was, is the GoPro's flat because I haven't charged it since the weekend. So yeah, we got it from the Mag Pro and this is a twin 1,000 pound double-sided magnet. And it is called the Mag Pro Pro Twin. So as you can probably tell, it is double-sided. We like the double-sided. I've got a couple of single-sided, but they're nowhere near as good as these. I just like the double-sided. But the difference is here is it rolls, yeah, that's right. So if you if you pull it along, it will hit. And then also when you get to the side, you can pull it up straight. Whereas with your double-sided one, you're pulling it up like that. So yeah, it's, uh, oh, let me get that undone. Get that all the way down. That bit comes off like that. Uh, yeah, Scott, I am gonna. Cindy, I said, oh god, yeah, but your your shipper your shipping will be cheaper than mine, Cindy. To be fair, but to be fair, it wasn't it was not a bad price. I think it was all in. Evening, Gareth. Yes, it is, mate. Yeah, we've only just just picked it up today, man. So, uh, me, I was saying earlier, me and the boy have got uh, I've got a day off work tomorrow because I've got Ben and um, me and Ben might. Depending on the weather, we might go out and have a cheeky little fish. Uh, go and test it out and do a little review of it, see what we can pull out of the canal. I might go down to one of the spots we've been before and see if we can actually uh, get some stuff out that we miss with our other ones. Because um, I think roughly this is about 225 kgs each side, so it's about 450 combined. I mean, and it's not it's not that heavy actually, to be fair. It, it's yeah, it's a little bit heavier than our other ones, but uh, I'm just going to uh, so you get obviously you get this with it. So I think it's a roughly about 20 meters you get with it. This is the bit that the uh, boys day out. Yeah, boys day out. Yes, I'll take him out only if it's not raining though. To be fair, like I said earlier, please excuse me if I miss your comment. So obviously we whack that bit through there, and then we'll stick that back through there. We'll do that up. I'm hoping so, Andy. I'll uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm planning on doing a future review on that magnet. I really want to hear that the design makes the big difference. So there we go, look. And uh, I think this, I did I did see the one that Shoot Ride Live did, and I think it's got quite a big big quite a good pulling strength on it, man. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's from Mag Pros, Gareth. Um, it's come all the way from Brooklyn in New York. We ordered it about two and a bit weeks ago and uh, we had a note through the door this morning to say obviously we weren't in and we couldn't sign for it and could we go and pick it up so we uh, we nipped down the post office tonight and went and picked it up so um, oh yeah I'm gonna uh, have a sneaky try tomorrow with the boy and uh, like I say look yeah it's uh, so it's like a twin it's called the mag mag it's mag pros pro twin now, I know the only one I, th I think the only one I've seen have using it is uh, shoot, ride, live, and he was pulling quite a bit of stuff out of it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how it works in our canals, man. I mean, I, I'm like I say, I'm a great double-sided fan. I love the double-sided magnets. So we'll uh, we'll have to see. I think this is it's a bit like yours. This is Gareth. It combines the double-sided pulling it across, but also you've got the bit when you get to the bank. You're pulling it straight up like that, so let's have a look, see what it's like. Oh, yeah, man, that's got a nice bit of pull on it. More salt, yeah. Do you like that one, Andy? 
I'll tell you where we pulled that out of, Andy, is you you went down there. Um, I think you was where, I think you, you went past and there was a homeless guy living and there was all that rubbish. We fished that out down there, to be fair, and it was really caked and uh, I think... I think um, I think Marie's mum, the Queen, cleaned it up and uh, come up. It's a proper letter opener. The only thing, it's got a little bit missing out of it. Just there. I don't know you can see that. But we keep it in the cupboard. We open our letters with it. So I thought I'd open the. As it was a magnet, I thought I'd open it with a with a with a find that we got from the magnet fishing. I like that. Well, smart. Yeah, near. Yeah, yeah. Down Gypsy Lane. Yeah, you know the one. Yeah, all the one where where all the sky dishes were, that were all there when we got there. That somebody had uh, logged in. I pull out the, the kitchen knives and you get a sword and daggers. I need to venture where you are. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was over from uh, Nuneaton we found that one. So, mm. but yeah, I'm going to um, try and get out tomorrow. I do, Scott. We look, I've got a couple of singles. I've got, um, I'll tell you what I've got is I've got a little one that we used at the magnet fishing competition. Ben uses it because it's, um, it's not too heavy for Ben. I'm ordering a <laughs> super trusty. Yeah, we can all, we'll all, all chip in and, and, and get him one. Let's make sure there's no holes in it though. Or we, don't, we don't want him sinking. We were waiting for his pencil dive into that lock at the weekend. Yeah, he has put, yeah, he has, he has pulled out some knives. I mean, we, we've got quite a collection of knives up at the Queen's, in the Queen's greenhouse. I think at the end of the year, we're gonna need a van to take them all. Hmm. Uh, where do you see my thou my thousand k sub video? Many. Oh God, what you done this time? So, no, we're going to. Uh, the other thing I like about this as well is it's got that on the end. So put your wrist on it. Put it through your wrist. You're never going to do never going to do what you did, Andy, at the weekend, and lob your magnet in. So. Uh, you can get a free pair of gloves and size large fits me perfect. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, yeah, but I, I think Ash has got it on video. That's the thing. I think I didn't get it on video. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were waiting. I'll tell you what, if it had been full, I reckon he'd have been in it, you know, to be fair. I reckon he'd have pencil drived in. We could have held the boards up, given him either five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just join me on what's the pound pull of that magnet. Right, it is a thousand pound pull. So it's 500 pound each side. So roughly, I think in, in your, your English money, that is 225 each side. That's I did Google it. So if it's wrong, blame Google, not me. I never was good at math. Well, I'm better at maths than English, to be fair. So, uh, thanks for the four thumbs up, guys. Brilliant, and uh, all 21 watching as well. Crikey me, I'm quite. Uh, I must. I must have done well if I pulled Andy off the uh, football. Love to hear how the magnet performs. Eve, I'm going to go out tomorrow if the weather's good. You should name your new magnet the Big Boy. I reckon we. Yeah, we might do actually, man. Might do a review of the Big Boy. And I might let the little man use it, but then I don't want him going in the canal with it, to be fair. So no, I don't know. Actually, I'll tell you what, actually, I want to do is I'll have a quick look on my phone at what the weather is going to do tomorrow, see if I can actually go fishing or not. But no, I'm sure the uh, Thursday, whoa, 10 degrees and it's not raining, so I might, uh, oh, it's raining in the morning, but it's all right in the day, right. So I might go out tomorrow and do uh, a cheeky bit of magnet fishing. So, like I said, uh, before, I'm going to do uh, I'll do a proper review on this tomorrow. I think I might film a little unboxing one, and then I'm going to go out tomorrow with Ben and uh, and film it and see how we get on. I'll take I think I might take one of our uh, double sided normal ones and see what we do. I still can't go out because everything's still covered in ice. Oh no, no, that's not good, man. We had enough of that in the last few months. It was nice to get it. It's nice to get out now and it's getting a little bit warmer and you can actually go and magnet fish. Uh, we went out the other weekend, it was absolutely lovely. And this weekend it's supposed to be 15 to 16 degrees. That's like summer in the UK to be fair. It's not bad at all, so. No, I'm looking forward to it, so. Anyway, Gareth, back to work next week, and yeah, you're gonna have to go and do some real work. 
I do. She's showing me a picture of myself on the TV. It feels quite strange doing it on my own because there's normally uh, there's normally all of us, but um, obviously it's a working day tomorrow, so everyone else is uh, at work apart from me and the boy. I've just realised now I've got this. I can stand me. Uh, I can stand me. Uh, stand me. me, me paper sting in it. Look. So no, it's uh, yeah. We're gonna go and uh, we're gonna get a bit of magnet fishing done tomorrow. Just uh, me and the boy and see what see how this performs, and then I'll uh, I'll get it up, and then we're we're gonna go out. We've got we've got a couple of uh, bridges to go and look at. I might go and look at them tomorrow. Go on, we, yeah, we uh, old man. We done that the other week. We went skating. At, well, it wasn't the other week. It was um, it was about a month ago now. Be earning, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he won't, he won't be far off it, man. I think we're we're halfway there, so I think we're four four off five hundred now, which we've we've done really well. To be fair, I I didn't even imagine we'd ever get to to uh, to two hundred, let alone three hundred, and then we passed four hundred, and now we're nearly at five. So uh, thanks to all you guys. Have you seen all the videos from the weekend, Paul? They was mate. Yeah, I watched Ashes tonight, and uh, yeah. I commented on him and said, we've been waiting for this. I've got to go for get my stuff ready. Bye for now and bye. Yeah, see you later, Gary. Good luck for tomorrow, mate. I'm sure everything will be absolutely fine. And uh, let us know how you get on when you, uh, you know, obviously you get back home and you're all sorted. But I'm sure everything will go well. And it's, uh, I'm sure everyone from the Magnet Fishing community will be uh, thinking about you tomorrow, mate. And uh, we certainly will. So we will see you soon and you'll be, you'll be fighting fit. Rough me up, let you fling the old the old big boy in. Yeah, see you later, Gary. We'll be thinking about you tomorrow. So it'll all be good, mate. It'll all be good. Waiting, uh, mate. I can't believe you guys have still got snow in April. Bye. See you later, Gary. Can't believe, yeah, middle of April and you still got snow. That's bad. Fucking me. Go live on you. I tell you, oh God, Andy, flumming hell, man. I bet you'd have some people watching it though. I know, I know it sounds weird, but I bet some people will watch it though. Blimey, man. Trouble is, you never get a good signal in the hospital. I find. I've never. Uh, I don't think you would. I don't think they'd let you do it, would they? They're saying that they did it for the television program, so. God, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they have Wi-Fi. I'll tell you what, I bet it's better than my Wi-Fi at home, man. That was from the missus. <laughs> Gracie lives. What, what's what? I've got a big snow. Have you got a big snowstorm coming? Or a big storm as in a, in a tornado? Or Because, I mean, we don't get anything like that in the UK, thank God. We can't live with two with, a, with about two millimetres of snow over here. We're, we're crippled, to be fair. <laughs> Snow's finally stopped here in northern Nevada, but now it's getting in. Yeah, rain. Yeah, we've had a we had a fair bit of rain this week to be fair. Daniel. Hello Daniel, you're right? Yeah, we love to live with excitement. How are we? Oh my word, I've got some got blooming uh, bits of uh, polystyrene up my nose then. So no, yeah, I'm looking forward tomorrow to going to use this bad boy. Let's see how good it is. I reckon it's going to be pretty good. I reckon it's got a good. Oh, blimey, man! It's got a good pull on it, man. So we're going to see. We're going to. Uh, the only thing is, every time it hits it, all the uh, all the bits of lime scale are falling off the handle, and I don't really. Oh, it's got loads of it on there, man. So uh, no, we're going to go and give it a test tomorrow. See how we get on. And, uh, but I just thought I'd uh, share it with all uh, our fellow magnet fishers. And. Uh, before I go and do it, go back and get the microwave out from the lock. I might go back and get all the two peas we didn't get out, man. I could fill me fill me bottle up with it. What's been our best magnet fishing find, Jack? Oh my word! Send me one direct. Uh, 
Uh, right, I'll get back to you, Jack, in a minute. Uh, Gareth, no, you have to buy it direct from Mag Pros. I think it's on Facebook. Um, or I think it might be Mag Pros www.magpros.com um, we did ours on Facebook we entered the competition um, um, I think that's how we did it but you order it and then we pay you pay through PayPal and they send it to you so but back to Jack uh, oh god man how much we uh, I will get to you in a minute Jack I promise um, 72 all in I think it was I think we paid that was including the shipping and then yeah yeah, yeah 72 all in with the shipping but we do, they were doing 15% off, so I think we got it for $89 or something like that. I'll book some of that. I've got the twin and snap it. Got cool. Father in law did that. He got his fingers trapped, he got his thumb trapped between our two, our 200 kilogram double sided magnets. He's still got a black thumbnail now. But back to you, Jack. Oh, God, over. So we've been fishing since last, about June time. And we've pulled, I don't know, what would you say our best find is, B? The swords were good. The two swords, we gave one, we, we gave one to, to, eh? Yeah, yeah, well, we pulled, we, so, we got, um, we got a, we pulled a hand grenade, we pulled a World War Two hand grenade out on New Year's Day uh, this year. And we had we got the police out to it. Who called the bomb squad from Slough? They were not impressed because they were watching Oliver Twist, and we pulled them away because they had to come and blow it up. Um, but we found two swords last week, the uh, back end of last week. We found a. I say it's a samurai sword, but it's not. I think they're called katanas. I think I was told by somebody else, and it's the samurai who uses them. I mean, that's in bits in my garage at the minute because I've cleaned it or I'm in the process of cleaning it. And then we found another sword with it the same night, um, which we gave to That's Brad to um, commemorate his uh, Pirates of Manchester video. I think he was uh, quite, quite, quite made up with it, to be fair. Um, but we found some quite really cool. Like we found two Vespers in uh, Radford Bottom. That we found so much stuff in there, I had to make three videos because it was just find after find. We found quite a lot of kitchen knives. Um, I'm trying to think what else, man. We found quite. We we fished a bridge then down by us, and we found a load of railway armor stuff. We found loads of bolts. Um, I found um, I found a number four sign that came off the side of a train, which is in my garage. I've got. I'm in the process of cleaning them up, and I'm going to repaint them, and I'm going to I'm going to put them on the wall just outside my garage, around my door. And we also got I got a, a number thirty two uh, bridge sign off a canal bridge. What? Shotgun. Yeah, shot well. Yeah, we've had three shotguns as well, Jack, um, and we've had a an air rifle. I had the butt of a shotgun with the with the chamber in it, but the barrel was missing. Um, I've still got that. I haven't got rid of it. I haven't handed that in yet. Oh mate, Jack, we've had some, oh, we've had some amazing, we've had some bizarre finds as well. We found a tool that they use for um, doing hip replacements, a rasp file. We found one of them in the canal. I, I have no idea how it got in the canal. Um, that one, I don't know. Hang on a minute, I just missed my comments. Can I get that back up? Uh, no, I can't. Oh yeah, condom machine. Yeah, that was a, that was a bizarre one, Andy. Never, never ever pulled one of them out of the canal. I don't think we'll ever pull them. It's only because we were next to a pub. We pulled an outboard motor out that day as well, um, a full outboard motor off a off a boat. But um, down on the south coast, I don't know really. To be fair, what what we tend to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we do. We go. I just tend to look on Google, and follow the canal. And see what bridges they are, and like, like the further you, I found the further you go into town, it's quite good. But also, if you go out into the sticks, I mean, the one that we did last week with the safes and the two swords, it's not far from where we live, but it is in the middle of nowhere, and um, it's just obviously a dumping ground because people just drive up to the bridge, and it, you literally you could just open your window and drop it in. Obviously, they didn't drop the safe in that we found. Evening, Chris, you're all right. How we doing? Just uh, come to show people our new uh, 
our new magnet for our replacement from last year. And um, yeah, we fished it, I think like six months, six months ago, and it was completely empty. And we went back last weekend and it was just full of stuff again, absolutely full. We found two safes. One was an Imperial, an Imperial fire safe. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this, but um, I took the, um, I might have to go back to Manchester again in the future now. Where do I put that blooper? Oh yeah, yeah. We borrowed it, Andy, because we're. I think we're we're gonna uh, sometime later in the year we're gonna be meeting up with Ash and uh, doing a collab, which we'll be looking forward. I don't know. I don't know. We might go up to Manchester. Are you going to name the new magnet? Yeah, we've uh, someone's named it. We're gonna name it the Big Boy. So um, yeah, we're gonna. I think that's what we'll call it. So uh, I'm gonna, like I said earlier, I'm gonna review it tomorrow, hopefully. But we pulled the safe out, and I don't, know, I don't know if you guys seen it on our Facebook page. We put the pictures on, and uh, I took the plate off for the mother-in-law because she really wanted the plate, and uh, she's cleaned it up. Now I don't know whether you'd be able to see that properly, but with the light, she's cleaned it, and that has come out. It's probably not too great a picture. I am going to post it on our Facebook page, but she cleaned it in. Someone told me to use Harpic, Harpic toilet bleach, and it's in the black one, and apparently uh, they did it yesterday, they left it in for half an hour, and that's how it came out, all the rust went, so she's she's uh, she's very happy with that, so yeah, so um, to, to just going back to yours Jack, I can't name the favourite thing we found, because we found so much weird and wonderful stuff, weird and wonderful stuff, it's it's just a buzz, isn't it, of going and not knowing what you're going to find. Yeah, it does. It, it does look really. I think it is copper. I, I think it's copper, but maybe and it's gold plated. I, I don't know. It just looks amazing. It looks really good. Shame the rest of the safe didn't look that good. It was it was battered, but uh, how the hell they ever threw that in? Have I missed? I'll, I'll tell you what. The, uh, the only problem is, is, is you miss the comments. It goes so quick. They go, they go off the screen so quick. So let me, let me, let me turn that one down. I'm going to get some ammo tomorrow and use it with the kids. Oh, what for your um, thingy? That'll be. Uh, I think he's sending. Um, I think he's sending us one. I'm not quite sure though. Wow, man. Where did you find that? Where did you find that, Chris? If they can't, you just have an Ashen Bradley bodyguard for you. <laughs> See, the trouble is, they, they get some good stuff up there, man. I mean, I think there's a lot more stuff goes in the canals around Manchester than they do around well, by us. Well, especially because we've fished them all out, haven't we, Andy? I'll get it in before you do. <laughs> Outside now. Wow, man. Blimey, I was, I was in near Norwich a couple of weeks ago. I went to um, Lowestoft to pick something up on a Friday. I thought I'd known. I could have stopped off and done a bit. I had my magnet in the boot because I thought, ah, oh, I've got plenty of time, man. Pop down to Lowestoft, pick this up. I thought... I could probably, probably, yeah, seven hour round trip. I didn't get no magnet fishing in, unfortunately. My, my plans failed. I thought I was going to be, uh, thought, yeah, I can dip a magnet in for an hour, but not a chance. Took me, uh, what's that? Oh, yes, Paul, I need a blazing magnets radar system. <laughs> Just send your drone up, man. You say, oh, yeah, look, they're down on that Brunnen Bridge. We'll go to the other one. I told you what we're going to do. We're going to get some stickers. We get some stickers and they're going to say, this bridge has been blazed and we'll stick it on the bridge. Then you know we've been there. Same as if we if we go to one with a Raven Girl sticker on, we know you've been there. <laughs> oh, dear me. Dear, oh, my word. What's, is that the, is that the, yeah, we were talking about, I think we spoke about it on Sunday, didn't we, Andy? I don't know whether I'd get done for graffiti in though, to be fair. Well, 
But uh, I suppose at least they'd know who'd fished it, who'd fished it all out. And I suppose we'd, we'd, we'd find out how good everyone's magnet is then, wouldn't you? I admit, I was going to Google and see how far my rules were when she was on the sea. I would travel to the Finney Memorial competition. Gracie, we travelled, I think we are about 50, it was about 51 miles for us, so it was about an hour. You get a nasty canal twist on your back. No, oh, we don't worry about them. I don't worry about. Them. Oh, do you know what? In the year nearly we've been doing it, Andy, I've never ever seen them. All I get the same as you is I get really nice compliments off the people on the boat saying it's great what you're doing. Um, the uh, the day that we pulled that condom machine out, a guy pulled up. He's he's on a bit of our video. Um, Sparrow, <laughs> blimey! I don't know whether he'd be happy about it, but uh, yeah, we were we were talking to a guy, and um, he, I think it was about two or three weeks previous. He said that he'd hit something on the he'd hit something in the canal, and um, he'd have to. I think he said it it bent some part. I think it bent his propeller. <laughs> Didn't he swim part of the way? He might have done. Yeah, I don't know. Did you swim any of that way, Gareth, or what? But uh, he said he he, he 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 hit something on his propeller, and then he put his propeller out of, ba out of balance, and he said he had to dry dock. He had to he had to dry dock the boat, and I think he said to dry dock it cost him six hundred, and it cost him four hundred pound for a new propeller, so a thousand a thousand pound, and he said, oh, he says he said I, I love it. He said if you he said you guys are brilliant, man. He said for pulling all the stuff out. He said if it doesn't, if I don't hit stuff, he said it's great. Um, thing is, right? I, I think it's more that it's the it's people complain about the ones that, that that leave it. I mean, we take all the small bits home in a bucket, and then I either ring, I ring the. Uh, Pirate Detectives, hello. Um, I either ring the Canal Trust or now I've got the number of a local scrap guy um, and he's given me his number and he said, you know, when you've done it, just just drop me a text and um, I'll go and pick it up. So um, I rang him, I texted him on the weekend about all the stuff we pulled out last week and he said, whereabouts is it? So I just, um, I've got the map, I've got a map, on, map up on my phone and... Uh, just circled the bridge and put this bridge and I just sent it to him and uh, he went off uh, I mean there was well I think there was about about half a ton of scrap the two safes alone weighed a bit so I said to him like you know there's about half a ton of scrap down there you just got to go and pick it up we've got it out for you so I suppose if what, what else can I do if they don't go and pick it up and then you know it, it, I suppose it's hard but you know we have been to places where there is there is stuff on the banks. We did it the weekend prior. I think we went to three different bridges and they'd all been fished and there was bits bits there. So I, I can see why people do get the hump, but, you know, it, I can't take everything home, man. I mean, I, I, there's no way I could have... I wouldn't have been... I, would, I wouldn't physically be able to even got them safes up, up the flipping steps onto the road. So, I mean, I did text the scrap guy and said, you need a few guys to go down there because, you know, it, it is heavy. But, you know... Uh, we do our best to get rid of it to be perfectly honest some weeks my wheelie bin's rather heavy from all the rubbish that I've chucked in it along with my own and I'm pretty sure the majority of guys that, you know are the same I'd, that we take as much away as possible but you know you, you, you can't it's one of what's the saying is you can't you can please some of the people some of the time but you can't please all the people all the time I think that's right in it Give me a thumbs up, wife, if that's right. Yeah, it was. She says it's right. That's all right. I'm all right. Got to go, Paul. Nice moment. I'm looking forward to seeing the video. Yeah, hopefully I'll go and um, I'll go and do it tomorrow. Me and the boy will take me and the boy wonder. We'll go and take the big boy out and see what we can find. I might go down to where we pulled them safes out actually, because there was a few other bits uh, bits in there, and we might see if we can pull pull anything else out. I'll take my. I'll take one mile away and have an account in the scrapyard. Fair play, man. I'll tell you what, I've got I've got two bucketfuls in my garage as well, to be fair, that I've got to get rid of. 
and the mother-in-law has got a stack load at her house as well that we need to get rid of. I'm just, I just don't seem to get the time to chuck it all in the van and just go and get rid of it. Um, but then I, I had another two scrap guys come round a few weeks back. They take small bits and my mate fetches the rest in his van, although he told me that on occasion the stuff would disappear. Yeah, because I guarantee that it's gone back in Andy because we, we've, we've had that before. Is we fished a bridge, got loads out. I called a guy out to come and get it. We went back a few weeks later. Go, oh, yeah, it's all gone, man. We'll fish a bit more. And I started pulling out all the stuff that we pulled out the week before. So, yeah, <laughs> it's the lesser of two evils, isn't it? What do you do? What do you do? So, you know, what was that last one there? I've just missed that one here. But I just think if you pull it out, you have. Normies are all, yeah, but you know, what do you do if you pull out a massive, massive item? Is I don't want to chuck it back in because it, it you know, someone else could hit it, so you, you're sort of hard work in it. So I don't know, I don't know. Or with yours, Andy, whether someone else got there before he did, you never know, do you? That's the thing. Are you off, Chris? Thanks for the uh, 14, 14 thumbs up, guys. Thank you very much. And 18 people watching. Impressed, man. Not bad for just me. <laughs> On my own. It's not bad at all. So, uh, I, uh, Gracie lives. I, told, I was told the other day that I trust David will not allow to take anything. Hey, Sensefic. What was, what was that, Andy? I was told the other day that the Trust Dave. Yeah, not allowed. Hundred feet, five million fishing on the right easel on the right side. So there's his right hand, but hundred foot an inch. Say not day. So you take the small one. Hang on a minute, so oh, I was told the other day that the trust say you're not allowed to take anything. Eh? So they're telling you you can pull it out but you're not allowed to take it away. What the, oh God, I don't know, I don't know. So what, what do they want, if you can't take it away, what do they want you to do with it? There's, 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 a, there's no pleasing them, is there? There's no pleasing them. What can you do? The only way then, if you can't take it away, you've got to put it back in. But I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't, they wouldn't be happy if you were chucking shotguns back in and knives back in. Oh, give up, man. What can you do? Yeah. Someone said that recently, someone said that recently, I think the trust are just being a pain. Yeah. This is the... I suppose now because it's becoming quite popular, whereas probably about a year ago, not many people were doing it. Obviously now more and more people are doing it. I can't see the problem. We're cleaning the canal out for If they had any sense, they'd come and pick it all up themselves, weigh it in and put the money back into their pot to look after the canals. Ruin the live stream, husband. Thank you, whatever. Thank you very much, wife. Blow me kisses now, blimey. I must be honoured. <laughs> I'm well happy. Ah oh, dear me. Well, you see the truth is I've got work tomorrow, so I can uh, I can sit here all night chatting. You have. Yeah, me and the boy wonder are breaking the new magnet in. Yeah, I'm well excited, man. So if uh if you don't hear from me tomorrow, that's because i I've got a bad back. Because I've, I've, knack, I've knacked my back up, um, throwing the magnet in. No, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I, I don't really want to throw my stuff back in. Uh, I'd, rather, um, I'd rather just get rid of it, to be fair. But uh, until the day comes where we get collared by them, I'm not going to worry about it, to be perfectly honest. And even then, I don't think I'm going to worry about it either. What kind of beer are you drinking? Corona. I love, I'm always on the Corona. I've, I've, I've seen you on the Radford stretch of the canal, just wondering if you had any decent catches. Uh, yeah, we did. 
Was that down at Radford Bottom? Oh, I've got all the age, but not too particularly fond of Corona. Oh, I love Corona herb. Herbs, I've, I've, oh God, I'm addicted to it. Just let us know where you're going, just in case you lose it. <laughs> well, so you, you can fish it back out, Andy. I just missed that one, Cindy. I'll have a quick look. I'll call the police in the city. Oh, uh, police still driving again, said so Laura. Uh, and then secondly, I guess not because they've never heard of magnet fishing before. Wow. Yes, down on Radford Bottom Lock. JW Carp Fishing. Yeah, we pulled a load, a load, a load of stuff out there. Um, we pulled a... We pulled a bike bike frame out. We pulled a motorbike frame out. We pulled two Vespers out. We pulled a five foot safe door out of there. We pulled loads of other random bits. We pulled a safe that wasn't open, which we took home, and it had a fake Rolex in it when we opened it. Um, there was that was just full of stuff. Do you know if Ash got his magnet back from the competition? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Ash got his magnet back. Andy got his magnet back, and I think that's Lucy got hers back. I think everyone whose magnets went in, they all got them back. I fished Andy's out. I think Daniel Parkin, Daniel Park Parkinson fished Ash's little one out, and I don't know. I think it was just uh, a guy that turned up. Um, fished that's Lucy's out, so we got them all back. Um, yeah, I didn't think we lose any of them. Let me just get that one again. There should be a bounty paid by the trust for whatever you pull out. You should come out. You should come out and you know, the table. Well, yeah, we are saving them money, to be fair. That's cool. Lots of stolen stuff gets thrown in once they are finished with it. Yeah, that Radford bottom, because they can drive in there and they can literally back their car right up to the canal and chuck it in. There's still some, there's still quite a lot of stuff in there, JW cart fishing. Um, but the last time we went, somebody had parked a big maintenance boat in the way and we couldn't fish it, to be fair. So um, we'll have another trip back there. I'm going to get I am going to get a drastic G action figure because you use them to go in the water to rescue your magnet. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, that'll be the next thing you'll be making. Oh, man, drastic. We might, trouble is, if we do blazing mag magnets action figures, that's going to cost us a fortune, man. Because it's like seven. No, hang on a minute now. How many? How many of us there is there now? There's me, Marie, Ben, Jack, Ali, Carol, Martin. It's eight. Eight of us now. That's gonna be. That's gonna be an expensive trip. That is, man. That, that looks like a good time. Yeah, it was. It was absolutely brilliant, man. Absolutely brilliant. I'd, I'd do that again. Yeah, I'd do that again. Not a problem, man. It was it was a cracking day. Even though I think I think some of the two peas went out when they opened the lock. Fake Rolex in a safe sounds like a sad story for the owner. Yeah, that was the first time I'd seen you when the maintenance boat was there. Sorry. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, you were you were there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that that was the fourth time we'd come back. We'd been there a couple of days prior. Uh, oh no, we'd been there the weekend before and fished a load of stuff out, yeah. It was, um, bloody hell, I know what picture I'm doing next, Paul. <laughs> is, is, would that be would that be eight, eight cartooned uh, blazing magnets, Andy? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, I'll be looking forward to that, man. That'd be quality. Wolf Racer, have you ever thought about getting some big lots and doing a night fish? We did a night fishing. Well, we did some evening fishing, to be fair, um, a couple of weeks ago. We just went out to do uh, action figures. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. You could, I tell you, you, could, you could make some serious money, I reckon, Andy. If it, if it takes off any, if it gets any bigger. Um, but back to Wolf Racer. Yeah, we, we, we thought we'd do a bit of evening fishing, but by the time we left, it was pretty much pitch black. Um which made it quite hard to film. But what made it even harder is I couldn't tell what anyone was pulling out because it was pitch black. So uh, I think we'd have to find one like Radford Bottom. What I was on about earlier is quite good because you can you can drive into a car park and then you could just like literally just leave your car headlights on and just fish. I want to start a bit of magnet fishing on my local river. I bet there's some history at the bottom. 
Yeah, I mean, we tried because um, I tried fishing a little bit further up from that because there's a disused railway line that, that, that used to go down through there. Um, and it was it was quite good. I, I don't tend to find... I, I don't find... I don't, I don't, we don't really have much luck fishing in rivers. We've fished a couple of rivers and never really found a lot, to be fair. That's why we tend to stick to the canals because you tend to find more in the canal. What was the first prize? Raven Girl won, I think it was 130. Andy will tell, it was either 125 or 130. I think it was, I can't remember now. I can't remember. 130, the wife just said to me. Yeah, 17 thumbs up. Thank you very much, people. 21 watching, fantastic, fantastic. Was it 130, Andy? I think the wife said it was 130. I'm 140, wow. Yeah, she won all the entrance money, and uh, there you go, Andy. There's some gas money for you. You get some gas money for you when you go up to Manchester and pull some more bikes out. Don't forget them bungee ropes. You know, we, we you could we could have brought that one back, couldn't you? But no, it was that was a great day. Win, win or lose for us, we weren't really that fussed. We just thought it was just great, absolutely great. People getting stuck to each other in the in the canals. People fishing out other people's magnets that they dropped in. It was it was just great. It was absolutely great. What do you mean a pirate detecting? No, that won't be. A few dogs is not. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I, that one skipped past me. I didn't see that one. JW carp fishing. I presume you're from your local. You must be local to me then. You must be. You round. You round near Lot Radford Bottom then. I take it if you were fishing there. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, need ammo, bulletproof vest, and maybe a tank for Manchester. <laughs> oh, what, a tank to go in? Crikey, Andy, that, 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 would, uh, that would cost you some. Yeah, I'm in Whipna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you wouldn't have been far from there. Yeah, no, we I mean, we're from rugby. So, we, we I, I was going to fish that a while, a while ago, and then... I think winter came and it was like a bit cold to go over there and then we were just looking for a spot one we thought oh, we'll go over there and yeah what a great what a great few days we had there man like i said we did i did three videos apart from the first one i, I feel i uh, edited it in the wrong size and uh, the picture's rather big but i can't actually change it so but the other two bits were uh, weren't too bad but i was a newbie then for videoing I, I was that was one of my first fuse few videos that i've done I don't think I'd like to see myself as an action figure. It'd be quite good. Nice, keep up the good work. I suppose it's I suppose it's good for you guys as well, isn't it? JW Carp Fishing. You don't get your uh, you don't get your lines stuck on all the rubbish that's in there, to be fair. So not only are we doing the um not only are we doing the canal boat as a favour, are you getting more convoluted now with your editing port? I did, yeah, but oh the laptop man. It nearly on Sunday afternoon it nearly got launched across the living room as it, it didn't want to do anything I had to just wipe the entire laptop hard reset my entire laptop and reinstall everything and then of course I've lost I've lost a load of my like YouTube banners that I put on my videos um, I've lost my editing program and all sorts of stuff and it was just a, it was a mare I honestly wanted to just launch it across the room, but to be fair, since I've hard reset it, it seems to be all right now. To be fair, but that video was a hard video to edit because Ali Ali had filmed it, and I obviously the last sort of five or six I've I've filmed them and then I edit it, so it's quite easy because I know what's sort of I'm on there. But when someone else has filmed it, I've had to I had to sit and look through. I think it was about sixteen file clips. Keep an eye out for Captain Sparrow and his mighty men. <laughs> oh, right, there's another one up there. Every bit of crap you pull out, I hope everybody included in nature. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and it was tricky. Um, so pirate detecting. I use I use a free one. I use HitFilm Four Express Four. It's a free, it's a free one, but to be fair, it's not too bad. I've got quite used to it, uh, and I've got quite used to putting all the composites shots in it and. 
all the fading in and out of the videos and adding my music and stuff. So I've got quite used to that. Um, I did try Premiere Pro, but I didn't get on with it. I just found it was, I found it was all right, but I just, I've become used to the options of what I get in hip film. So try Sony Vegas, you will like it. Is all oh, right, okay. Trouble is, I suppose now I've become I've become quite used to hip film four and my, a lot of my composite shots that I use, like bits that I add into the videos are all once I've done them in hip film they stay in there so you can reuse them. We call that transitions. Uh, that's the correct term. Yes, transitions. Cross dissolves, dither dissolves, and all that kind of stuff. Is that what you want about Andy? I sound like I know what I'm doing now, don't I? I have no clue, to be perfectly honest. I have no clue. Transitions. It's amazing what you find on YouTube, you see. <laughs> yes, I was right then. I was right. Yes, I do. I do use transitions in my videos and uh, various other bits and bobs. So it's not bad for... I've only been doing it roughly about six weeks. Wish I could stay, but I have got to go and prepare for my next fishing session. Thanks for coming on, JW Carp Fishing. I might see you down Radford Bottom one day. Um, I'll try not to pull your uh, fishing hook in if you're fishing. So, uh, yeah, no problems, mate. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on. It's been brilliant. Ian, how are you, mate? You all right? How are you doing? God, this is quite nice, actually, sitting out here. Yeah, yes. Oh, Ian, I don't know, I presume you haven't, uh, have a look at that one. We've bought our uh, our replacement for our uh, magnet we lost last year. So I'm going to go and, uh, I'm going to go and give it a try tomorrow, me and the boy. It's, uh, we've bought a Mag Pros Pro Twin. I'm going to go and see what it's like, man. It's not, not bad, I quite like it. I'll be able to tell you tomorrow what it's like and uh, we'll see, we'll see what we can pull out with it. And, uh, and clean. I don't want to get it dirty. That's the problem, man. Just came in from the doctors and they've given me. Just came in from the yards and I get them. Just give them a, a thumbs up. Oh, brilliant, man! Seventeen thumbs up. Oh, that's the wrong bottle. That one's empty. I want this one. That's a big magnet. It's certainly well, yeah. It, to be fair, yeah, it is. Well, it is a big magnet. It, it is roughly uh, two hundred twenty-five kilogram each side, so it's about four fifty combined. So uh, we'll see. I know our old ones are 200. So we'll see. It's not, it's, excuse me, it's not that horrendously heavy. Stick the magnet on your car and record it. I'll tell you what, if I, I, if I stuck it on the car, man, the, the wife would go mad. I'd be sleeping out in the garage. Eh? <laughs> I can't repeat what she just said. It had, a, it had a bad word in it. It's a good job she's sitting in the living room because I can't edit it out of this one. Mm. I'd have to put it on after 12 o'clock. There's no way. Oh, God, man. I'll have to be careful putting it in the car. Because I'll tell you what, I've, I've walked out of the garage before, past my freezer, and it's stuck to uh, it's stuck to the freezer. What is that in pounds pull? In pounds, it's a thousand, it's a thousand pound pull, double-sided. So 500 pounds each side. I wouldn't trust myself with a magnet that powerful. I bought the 500 pull ones to the shed to show us at the weekend it was drifters. You had a go on that one, didn't you, Marie? Brads. Yeah, Marie says it doesn't feel as heavy. I already destroyed it. Marie said Brads, well, that 500 pound one is quite heavy. Don't get stuck on Brads 500 or K or you'll never get them apart. They were get. I'll tell you what, they were getting proper stuck at the weekend. They had four people on that microwave. Four, four of them on the... Um, Four of them on that microwave, but it still wouldn't come out. So, no, we thought we wanted to. We had to get another one because we were, we lost the one before Christmas. And to be fair, they've got a bit snot. We've got a bit sneaky in the UK, man. I think they've cottoned on to obviously the magnet fishing, and they've hiked the price of like all the mag. When we bought our double sided, they were about thirty seven quid. They're now fifty. We went to buy the rope. Uh, we were buying the ropes originally for like two pound fifty. They're now eight quid. So they're, they're, they're cottoning on. So I thought 72 quid is 20 odd quid more than what 
we normally pay for a magnet and then we got the rope with it so that was eight quid so it's now 12 quid cheap 12 quid dearer we've got a set of gloves that's another three quid i just want to tease everyone laugh out loud <laughs> yeah you found a fully working gun yet we found a fully working air rifle yes we haven't found a fully working gun though all of our guns have been in the canal We've had three shotguns. I had a double barrel shotgun and two bolt action shotguns, but they, they didn't work. They'd all been in there for some time. But the um, but the air rifle, we bought we got an air rifle which did. Have you seen the way to separate them on YouTube? Uh, no, I haven't, no. What separate them when the two get stuck together? I presume you're saying. We normally, with our 200k, they're not too bad. They can pull them apart. I'm not sure what that's going to be like if it gets stuck to one of our other ones. No, I'll have to, oh man, I'll have to Google that though. I'll have a look to see what it's like. But I'm pretty sure that when that gets stuck to something, it'll be fun. You need a license for it. You need a license now for air rifles in Scotland. No, I'm not sure. No, we don't, we don't need a, we don't need one in England for them, to be fair. Um... <laughs> Because we, we pulled that out, the fa my fa the father-in-law has took it all apart, cleaned it all. He's restained the butt of the gun and varnished it, and he's just got to put it all back together. And that's per that's a fully working one, actually, to be fair. And we also found a Tempest, a Webley and Scott Tempest air pistol, as well. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think I think the father-in-law's took that one apart. Send it me. <laughs> no. No, I, I, I haven't got it back yet. I think he's had it about six months now, to be fair. But all of our other ones, we, we have to hand into the police. To be fair, have a good evening. My best to you and your family. I have to be going. Right, I'll see you later, Cindy. Um, enjoy. Thanks for coming on the live stream. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your week and uh, have a great weekend. So, 19 thumbs up thank you very much people i can't believe an hour's gone by already can't believe an hour's gone by i was thinking oh yeah i'll just go on and do a quick 20 minutes do a little bit of my magnet and then you get loads of people come on and you just end up uh, end up chatting so but i haven't got work tomorrow so i'm all right i'm gonna be out sneak i'm gonna be out sneaky fishing i think so uh it'll be good fun I don't know whether the boy will. I don't know whether the boy will enjoy it. So some of you, uh, I don't know whether some of you were on earlier. There was a, that's another one of our. Uh, I opened our. Uh, I opened me, me magnet box with it tonight. That's another one of our uh, finds we've had. A letter, a letter, a letter opener. Cleaned it up. The handle could still do a bit more. Might give the handle another clean. Actually, to be fair. One of our. Uh, another one of our uh, canal finds. I'm off now too. Got to get up in the morning. Turn on the blazing, the blazing radar. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Andy, you're going to need some big batteries for that one, mate, because we are everywhere. Evening magnetized, you all right? How are you doing? Nice to see you. That's an awesome little find. Yeah, that, that, it must be the wife. The wife tends to pull the swords out because you, she had that one out and she had the two at the weekend as well. It's, uh, it's not a bad little find, man. I think, I think fairly soon when the better weather comes and uh, watch out for those blips. No, you need to watch out for the blips. We'll we'll be everywhere. There'll be blips all over the place. What you boxing? What did I miss? Ah, mag magnetize. Yeah, you've yeah. I'll I'll tell you what. Right, I will. Uh, just for you, I'll uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek. There's a little bit of it there. There's a little bit more of it there. There you go, magnetise. See you later, Andy. Thanks for coming on, mate. See you later. Fire up that radar, because I'll be out somewhere tomorrow. There you go, magnetise. What do you reckon to that? That's the replace. That's our replacement for the one we lost. We lost last year. We thought we'd have a. We thought we'd have a magnet fishing treat. See you, Andy. So yeah, we bought a. Uh, but to tell you, Paul, it's, it's your good conversation ability, and I admit, for a slow American, I can understand your English. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I must talk too much. So yeah, we uh, 
we, we, the wife says, wow, buddy, I need a new magnet in my last video. My son smashed one of ours against the canal. Oh, no, man. I've never broke one yet magnetised. We've lost it. We lost one, but I've never broken one yet. Damn spell checker, mate. Yeah, I know. I was I was typing on Ash's last... I was talking to... I was on Ash's live feed yesterday. No, Andy's live feed last night. And uh, it kept doing it. Is the carabiner strong enough for the magnet? Yeah, apparently it is. It's rated because uh, it comes. It comes as a complete kit, so you get everything with it. So it's it's all rated. I think the I'm pretty sure that's rated for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred odd. I'm gonna give it a try anyway, man. To see what it's like. I mean, I'm not too sure about the carabiner, man. Oh, let me have a let's see what it says on it. I don't know. It looks pretty good to be fair, but I mean, worst case is, is. Uh, I got a couple of eye bolts, pretty good one. How much is it? It was 72 delivered from the US, uh, Clinto. But we got it on, um, we got it on the, um, we got it on special offer. I don't know how much they are now. Um, not sure, but we've waited about two weeks for it to come. Try and pull apart with your hand if you can. Then, then. No, I can't pull that apart with my hand. Treasure Seeker Island, you guys are awesome. I love the way you get out as a family. Thank you very much, Treasure Seeker Island. Yeah, we we, we do it. Um, we we love doing it as a family. It's, we have a great laugh, mate. It's some of the videos are just comedy. We have we have a. Sometimes I watch the videos back in the weekend, and when I'm going to edit, and I, I'm crying with some of the stuff that comes out. It, it, it has me in bits, to be perfectly honest. Was that the first thing it attracts is the mini? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there, Ian. Man, I tell you what, I dreamt over the over the year. I don't know how much we've spent on various different magnets. The, the minute it's rope, we seem to go through rope like it's going out of fashion. I mean, I put a new rope on uh, both our magnets. Not this, yeah, the end of last week, Thursday, because we were out Friday fishing, and by Sunday when we finished the competition, they're wrecked. So. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I'm trying to get hold of some theatre rope or some climbing rope, but pff, it's expensive, man. It's really expensive. Um, I was looking at theatre rope, and it's like 300 quid for 100 metres. I don't really want 100 metres. I only want about 15 metres. Um, but um, it's just hard work getting hold of it. But the, the stuff we're buying from home base, it, it's just not lasting. It's just getting destroyed. It's getting snagged. You're, you're pulling it up the bank, and it's just it's just wrecking it. To be fair, magnetized. Was it from Amazon? No, um, we bought it from. It's it's made by a company called the Mag Pros. Uh, they're an American company. They haven't. I think they only started about a month and they only opened about a month and a bit ago. They've been developing it. I found this on Shoot Shoot Ride Lives channels. And he, he got one and reviewed it. And I thought, yeah, it's not a bad idea. So what I like about it, magnetises that, is that bit moves. So you you can drag it that way. You can drag it that way all the way across. And then you can pull it up straight. So you get like a double-sided and a single-sided all in one go without having to, um, to mess around. So we'll see. But yeah, you have to buy it direct from Mag Pros. Um, I think they're on Facebook. I think that's what we... Yeah. Ah, oh, evening, Edward. How are you? Edward, I love your comments on our videos, mate. They make me howl. Absolutely howl. I'm just going to catch up on a few comments here. So, apologies. We don't do metal detecting. The, the, the Queen wants to do metal detecting, but she's got to get a metal detector. Because um, the... Uh, she'll, she'd love to go metal detecting. I think my boy, my boy would probably like the metal detector more than I, I would. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I, we did, we had a metal detector years ago, but I, I wasn't that keen on it to be fair. Ah, uh, oh, you've been here from the start. You've been in the, you see, you've been in the background, Edward. You, uh, you do make me laugh though, Jack Thomas. Will the chain work on the mag? The only thing about putting a chain on, um, on a magnet is I don't know. You get it stuck to the magnet, wouldn't you? To be fair. I don't know. I've never thought about a chain. I'm not sure how that carabiner is going to work. Um, I don't know whether that's going to get stuck to the magnet, but I'm going to find out tomorrow, so uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe a layer of duct tape around the rope would help. 
Mm, I don't know. It's, I think it depends what gloves you wear as well. Uh, the giant Gary detectives. Hi, oh, yeah. I'm just catching up on some uh, some comments, man. Uh, Edward, I've been here from the start. No, they weren't interested at all. Um, I, th I think the scrap man's been and had it now. To be fair, it was empty. There was absolutely nothing in it. So I want a good river to magnet fish, but nothing around here. Yeah, I, I just don't seem to get on with rivers. I don't find anything in them. I don't know why. Chain would work if you don't mind spending all your time pulling it off the magnet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, to be fair. Oh, dear. All the best, guys. Hope the new magnet works out for you. You've got to go to bed and early start in the morning. See you later, See you later Wolf Acer. Yeah, I, I must admit I've had three days like that of getting up early. But I've got a day off tomorrow because I'm looking after the lab. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and try the, uh, I'm gonna go and try the big boy out, see how we get on. So uh, it'll be a good laugh tomorrow. We should go. We should go to really rough areas in England and pull up tons of guns. <sighs> We've pulled a few guns not far from about five miles from where we live and the country. So uh, I thought I lived in a good area, <laughs> but obviously we don't. Or it's just a hotbed for dumping stuff. One of the two. So. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go into. Um, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go and fish in Coventry this weekend. Gracie, thanks for letting me join in. I have to go and pick up just all last work now. Thank you, Gracie. Lives. Thanks for coming on. No problems at all. And uh, go and pick Josh up from work now. Right. See you later. Thanks for coming on. See you later, Gracie. Bye bye. Can you attach the flat strap? I would say use thread lock. Yeah, yeah, I think I might have thread lock that in to be fair. I thread locked um, my little magnet the other day because it was coming loose. If you're in a rough area, you might need the guns. Pull them out. Yeah, yeah, you'd be right then, wouldn't you? <laughs> to be fair, I don't know. If you, I want to go to Germany and find some more relics. Apparently, Germany at the minute. Well, I was, I, I was talking to Ash at the, at the competition at the weekend, and he was saying that Germany is that everyone's pulling. Like guns out in Germany at the minute, out of the canals, um, all the World War Two stuff. He said, um, "I think was right. Everyone's finding it. Well, everyone's finding guns out there at the minute. I haven't found a, we haven't found a gun since Christmas, to be fair. But we found two swords instead, so that weren't too bad. But yet the weekend prior to that, we went and fished three. That's the third time I said threadlock. Well, is it? Is it? I've read it. I've only read it twice, Edward. Let me let me scan back see if you have. Gonna, no, come on, Edward. You're pulling my leg here. I can only find it twice. Oh, did he? Yeah, uh, you did say it right at the beginning. I oh, um. I've been told. Sorry, Edward. Are you going to make a video of it? Uh, yes. What, the, the, the magnet or... Um, Trinity, are you making... A, well, you, you, you're on about me making a video of, uh, of this? Treasure, uh, Treasure Seeker Island. It will be a Christmas banger left out loud. I will be Noel. Entice fishing. Edward, back to when you put it together. Yeah, uh, Edward, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a proper, I'm gonna do a proper video. I was gonna do it tonight actually while I was doing this, but my Go, I, I haven't charged the GoPro since we went to the competition at the weekend. So when I plugged it in, it was absolutely flat. So um, I'm gonna do a proper one tomorrow, where I actually I'm gonna obviously unbox it, take it out, put it all together, and then me and Ben are gonna go out. Um, me and Ben are going to go out uh, and and give it a try to see how we get on, and uh, just give it a give it a good good review. Um, we need to tip the rig for one week, and then he's taking me fishing later. Oh yeah yeah yes. What is the most weird thing you've pulled out of the water? <sighs> What's the most? Oh, I'll tell you what the most weird thing is we pulled out of the water is it is on. Uh, one of our videos 
I think it's one of the bottoms up videos. We pulled out um, a file that they use for doing hip replacements on people. It was about, about yay long and it's shaped and then it's got a rasp on the end of it and they use it for filing, I think filing the bone for where they put the implant and we pulled it out of the canal. And uh, I don't know why. Edward said dreadlock, but yes. No, hang on. When you put the strap on at the beginning, I said use dreadlock. I tell you what, Edward, you 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 you, you have me in bits, mate. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's like when I read his comments, man. Like he has me in bits. But to be fair, it is twenty. It is twenty-five to eleven at night. Huh? And I'm biting, she says. Oh, yeah, Ed, Edward's the uh, Edward's got me, man. He always does. But uh, but to, to answer that question, no, I, I am going to do the whole thing tomorrow. I'm going to do a whole a whole thing on it, uh, and then uh, we're going to go fish with it and see what we can find. Should be should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got some in the garage, Edward. Don't worry. I will threadlock it. I will threadlock it. If not, you can uh, you can get on the train and come up here and tell me off. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, he is. Every time I see his... Uh, every time I see his comments on our videos and I read them, I just chuckle, man. I think they're brilliant. Thank you, Thomas. Hope you have fun tomorrow, Paul. I'm off now. It's very cool. See you later, Clinton, mate. Have a have a good day. And uh, yeah, I'll be. I won't be far behind you now, mate. To be fair, it's what now twenty to eleven. So I should do a bit of a vid on your fishing trip with Ben. I will do. I'll do. Um, I'll do a little vid tomorrow, me and Ben, and um, we'll do a little review on the magnet and see how we get on. So. Uh, We'll, uh, and then we're, we're going out the weekend anyway. We'll have all the we'll have all the blazing magnets out the weekend. I think it'll be a full squadron this weekend. I think nearly or near enough a full squadron. We've got a few little places that we've got. Have you had to read my comments on your competition video? I, I have I have read them. I have read them already, Edward. But I couldn't recite them to you now. To be fair, but they. I read all your comments on most of our videos and they're all great. They're just absolutely, absolutely brilliant, man. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, Treasure is Show Seeker Island. Yeah, there will be... I'll do a little one tomorrow. It won't be a very long one. Um, and I'll stick it up sometime, probably around the weekend. And then, uh, like I say, we'll be out of the weekend and we'll, all the bla all the mag all the blazing magnets will be out of the weekend. I think, we'll, like I said earlier, we'll have a full squad and we've got a couple of little places we've uh, we've looked at and we're going to go and fish. So uh, I'll have my stickers out. This bridge has been blazed, and uh, we'll make a little video out of that. So, uh, but we've got some we've got some interesting stuff coming up. We've got some uh, bits coming. So uh, we're going to do some. We're still going to be magnet fishing, but we're going to be just doing something slightly different with it. So uh, look forward to that, and look forward to that coming soon. And then also come. I think it's August time. We'll have um, we're doing something that's called the uh, it'll be called the Blazing Magnets Grand Tour. So we're off on holiday, but we drive, and we're going near enough right to the very bottom of Spain this year. So we're going to take all our magnets with us, and we take about four days to travel there and four days to travel home. So we're going to be dipping our magnets into various rivers and uh, canals through France and Spain and uh, we're going to put it all together and we're going to uh, see what we can find. Hopefully I'm not going to pull any guns out because I'll have to get them back. Uh, well, that, I'm, not, I'm not coming back on the Channel Tunnel with one of them in my boots. So yeah, look out for that. That'll be later on in the year. So that'll be around August, September time and uh, it should be a laugh. So. But yeah, we've got some other bits that we're going to be doing with our videos coming up soon. So uh, I'm going to uh, now let you all uh, let you all go. Take it out tomorrow, give it a test, and you'll see the, uh, the 
Yeah, my internet's packed up. Has it gone off? Oh, we're back on. Sorry about that if it's not. Right, sorry about that if it all went off. Right, see you later, Ian. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Thank you very much. Pori Detecting, thank you very much for coming on. Um, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. We've had 24 thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching our videos. And thank you all. Oh, just quickly, John, the KG pull of the back of the beast. It is a thousand pounds pull, uh, which I've worked out to be four fifty. I googled it and it said it's four fifty, so it's roughly two twenty each side, thereabouts. But it, it, it's not too bad. It's not quite heavy, heavy. So, giant, ga giant Garrett detectors. I'm going to be going out tomorrow. Have a look, and um, I'm going to do a little video on it with the, me and the boy Wonder. We're going to go and test it out and see what it's like, and then on the weekend we're going to do a full video. Five thumbs up now. 26 thumbs up now, Edward. Brilliant. So thank you all for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you uh, see in, well, I'll see you probably next week, maybe. And uh, we'll do a we'll do a little sign. 27. Oh no, not quite. Still says 26, but I'm sure it will be.